What's going on guys? Got a fun video here. I just put the boat in at my favorite river spot. Um, got all the camping gear, cookware. We're gonna stay overnight, do a little catfishing. We just got to camp. It's so nice out here. I love this. Let's go check out camp. We're just unloading right now. But, uh, to get camp loaded up, I'm gonna make me something to eat. Might go out and try catching bass. I don't know, it's really nice out right now. But, uh, here's camp. I already got some of the boxes up here. It's basically my camp gear. Hammocks are in there. Look at this spot. Great bend in the river. Catfish like to hang out right here. There's, when I pulled up, I'm like, camp set up ate some lunch um, was gonna go bass fishing but just no clouds high pressure um, but there's shad jumping all over back here so I'm gonna go to the cast net and see if we can uh, get a few fresh shad I brought some frozen shad for catfish but if we get some fresh ones I'll throw out some some cut bait right now see if we can get some catfishing going but I'm just gonna save the bass fishing for the morning probably um, all right, let's try it. 16 foot deep. I haven't done this in a year, so don't laugh at me. Well, looks like I didn't need to practice. Hit the bottom. Let's see if we have a winner winner chicken dinner. Oh yeah, first throw, look at that. Awesome. Look at that. Two, but for the first throw, I'll take them. Light well, get the light well going. Come on, Chad. That wasn't nearly as good as my first throw, but. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh, crappy. Can't keep him. Not my best throw, not my worst throw. The medium throw, schmedium. Feels lucky though, I'm feeling, caught seven on the last throw, I'm feeling lucky. Deeper right here. And the bottom. Let's see what we got. Got some. Uh-oh. What's that? Big one? Nice. That's the size I'm after. Check him out. He's a big one. Yes, sir. Normally, I just dump them straight into the... Whoop. Straight into the live well, but I'm showing it for the camera here. All right. That's plenty to fish with. I hope we need to go get more because that means we're catching them. Or at least they're biting, let's see. Oh yeah. Give me some more oxygen. Put the cast net away. All right, let's, let's start fishing. Let's throw out some catfish line. 
All right, guys. We just threw out one line. We are officially catfishing. We got one of the bigger shads on. Right over there. Ready to go. The net's ready. While that's out, we're gonna. I'm gonna show y'all how I tie uh, tie up my catfishing rig, my uh, slip weight rig. Really easy. I use hundred pound braid for my main line. 50 pound mono leader material. Now, the reason I do that is that if you get hung up on the river, like when I go down the Ohio River and fish, you get hung up on a log, you break off, you break off just the mono and your hook, and you save your weight, you save your uh, uh, bead. You see everything. All you got to do is tie on a leader and a, and a hook. You're ready to get back to fishing. And you can even pre-rig those. So you just tie them on go. So this is why I set up, set up mine this way. So here we go. First thing you do, get you a barrel swivel. Get one ready. I use 100 pounders. 150, I think this is 150 pounds. First thing to do, get your weight, your egg weight, whatever size you're using. I got fish in a river with some good current, and I always use six ounces anyways. There you go. I buy these. I'll put the link to these um, glow-in-the-dark beads, basically not protectors. All right. Then, 150 pound barrel swivel. And I mean, I'm old, old school. I just do the regular old fisherman's knot. I know some people don't like that. And everyone does a polymer knot, but I don't have any failures at my knot. It's always a point in the line where I uh, hit it on a rock and just cut it or something. It's always something like that. I don't do a pretty job at it either, but I get it done right. There we go. Cinch it down. I like to wetting it up. That's annoying. Perfect. All right. Now, get you out however long you want your leader to be of your leader material. I thought I had one open. I guess I didn't. Brand new. Branch banking new. I get this stuff on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. Most stuff I use, I'll put the link in the description. And if you want to know where to get where I get it, I didn't do it. Just put it in the comment section. And I'd really appreciate everybody if you hit the like button and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. All right. I'm going to use about 20, 30, 25, 30 inches. Schnip. for now all right real easy tire leader to your barrel swivel swivel Last step. Pick what size hook y'all want. I'm trying to catch some 
15, 15 plus pound flathead, so go pretty serious. Whoop, butter fingers. go ready to fish and I'll show you the reason why I do this I mean this is not some new design I didn't come up with this but what happens your weights on the bottom of the river the lake or whatever your baits out here dangling fish picks it up It's not going to feel that weight. The fish is not going to feel the weight as quickly. Give you a better chance to pick up the rod and set the hook. Ooh, feisty. Ooh, nice channel. Ooh, that's lovely. Put him in the live whale. Here we go. Nice little channel. I'm gonna have to eat him tonight. Awesome. Let's do it again. All right, everybody. Got a nice eater channel cat in the live well. Let's catch some more. Not gonna keep any more, it's just me out here, so. Let's do it. Oh, throwing this line out, we got a bite on the other rod. Oh boy. Might be one of them spots. Oh, there's always there was a lot of shad jumping. Oh, I think he's on. He is. Yep. 
doesn't feel like a big one. I'm gonna fix my drag here. Turn that clicker off for y'all. Ooh. He might be a little bigger than the other one. Nope. Nope. Still a good one. Oh yeah. Ooh. Not a happy camper. Catfish just started biting, I guess. Fighting me good. Well, that's a nice one. Oh, get in there. Feisty fish. Well, that's a nicer one. Woo! Oh, nice. Cool. All right, buddy. Ooh, just slapped me with some water. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, we already got the eater in the in the uh, live well, so we're gonna put this guy back. But that's still, he slapped his own self in the face. Uh, let's catch some more. That's fun. That's fun stuff right there. Oh, Lordy, he's a feisty. They're feisty. Bye, Mr. Catfish. Man, I'm sweating bullets, but that's fun. Keep doing that. I knew there'd be fish right here. There's been shit popping since we set up camp. So let's keep doing that. That's fun. All right, guys, got uh, two catfish so far. I'm gonna start uh, cleaning the first one because I'm gonna eat him tonight for dinner. Um, we still got two rides out, so. If one goes off while I'm cleaning this guy, I'll run over and <laughs> run over and catch him. But caught us right. a catfish. We only been fishing for 30 minutes and we caught him. And I'm gonna eat him for dinner tonight. So real quick, I'm just gonna clean him real fast, chunk him up into little one-inch cubes, so that I throw it back in my cooler, get him on the ice, so I'm ready to fry him up a little bit later tonight. It's gonna go right down the right down the back of the spine. Follow the spine. Just follow right down the ribs. Just lay your blade right down the edge. Get a, a finger hold there and just slide your blade. Just let your blade do the work. Like I said, I recommend a fillet knife for this. But, hey.
I just go a little, try to do similar sizes. Nothing crazy fancy. Little, little cubes like that. They fry up good in the uh, Dutch oven. Bam, bam, bam. Boy, this is a sharp little knife here. I think, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Heli Odell. They're made in Norway. There are some nice knives. Man, this thing is sharp. The handle, I love that handle. I don't know a lot about knives, but great camp knife. Got it. My stepdad got that for me. Thanks, Dad. Gonna pat them dry. All the good chunks. McCormick Fish and Chips. Seafood batter mix. Gonna give it a try. They didn't have the shore lunch like I like. Excellent. Shake her up. It's a lot of batter for that little bit of fish. <laughs> oh well, I wasn't gonna save half of it. All right, guys, we got our fire going. We start heating up our oil, and uh, I'm ready for some fresh catfish. Hopefully, we catch some more. All right, entire first test piece. See how hot the oil is. Oh, that looks perfect. Perfect. Fresh catfish caught right there. As good as it gets right here. Get the rest of that fish. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take long. We got the hot sauce ready. Righteous. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see some fresh cat caught catfish. Oh, man. That's good. Mm. That's real good.
Well, I'm gonna finish this round. And then I'm gonna fry up another round. Oh yeah. Coming along nicely. It's too dark to see, but that light down there is the boat. morning everybody uh, got the French press going get some coffee uh, that jet boil is awesome <laughs>